Latin African has concluded the formal chrome tailings retreatment plant agreement with International Ferro Metal South Africa. The, this will, of course, enable Phoenix Platinum uh, Mining Pan African's 100% owned subsidiary to construct and commission a CTRP on IFM's Lissedi mine in the Bushveld complex in the northwest province. Jan Nelson, the CEO of Pan African, joins me now in studio. Jan, thanks so much for joining us today. Sorry. How long have you been working on this project for? I mean, clearly, uh, it is going to be a very low cost, high margin business going forward. Yes, we've been working on the project for about two and a half years to get it to where we are now. Mm. So um, clearly quite a bit of investment going uh, forward. Uh, looking at the grades at this point in time of the resource, uh, sitting at around 469,000 uh, ounces, you can get 3.15 grams uh, per ton. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Mm. It's extremely, uh, you know, it appears low grade, but it is actually not. These are surface tailings lying on mm. surface. There's no underground margin, and at current 4E basket prices, we'll get a margin of just over $850 an ounce. Because your production cost sitting at $400 for an ounce. Correct, yes. At this point yes. in time. And your total cost for this whole project, construction and commissioning, sitting at 104 million rand, of which 80 million rand needs to be paid uh, to IF, uh, IFM. No, total cost will, if you include the payment to IFM, will be 180 million, uh, million rand. Well, so, I mean, looking at where you got your funding from, give us an indication of uh, how you got that money. Well, no, all of this money will be funded from existing mm -hmm. cash flows. We operate the Barberton uh, gold mine as well, um, and uh, we will uh, fund all of the cash requirements from our current cash flow. So we don't need to go to our investors to get any money. Mm. Uh, looking at the PGM baskets, uh, the CTRP extracts PGMs uh, comprising 16.9% of platinum, 21.9% palladium, 16.9% rhodium, and 0.2% gold uh, from those chrome tailings. Uh, going forward, I mean, tell us exactly how much you expect to produce. I mean, apparently the, the lifespan of the year of the mine is around 17 years. Yes, the, the, the project's got a 17-year life. And at our current production rates, we will produce about 212,000 ounces of 4 PGs over mm -hmm. its life at a recovery of 45%. It's quite interesting because you, you're operating in, in the Bushveld area. Sylvania Resources also retreats uh, a lot of these yes. uh, tailings dams or the, the, the platinum tailings dams or chrome, chrome tailings dams. Uh, just looking at the play between the two, I mean, Sylvania Resources being an, a, a dominant player in this market. Uh, tell us about the synergies, if any, between the two companies. Well, I think, it, you know, obviously they are the, the more dominant player, but, um, and we have had discussions with them in the past where they looked at perhaps they could acquire the project, we could do something different. But if you look at the, the profit margins, it's so simple to build low risk, we will just do it ourselves. And, and the other thing it does enable us is it gives us a unique precious metals exposure to shareholders, which, uh, you know, I can't find any other company that will mine both platinum and gold. So. Uh, you know, we've just decided that we would rather um, do it ourselves. Mm. Well, it's interesting, Sylvania Resources is listed in Australia, run by South Africans. Why do you think South African companies have been so, uh, have, been, have lagged that uh, the, new, the new trend of this come to the fore? In other words, to retreat these platinum tailings dams? I just think it, it probably goes down to the existing agreements that were in place. They're extremely complex agreements. The, the land holdings of these assets are very complex. So it's, um, it takes quite a bit of time to sort of get, get all of that sorted out. Mm. Well, looking at the synergies between yourself and IFM, essentially you're going to be uh, piggybacking off the mining permits and licenses of IFM and also water supply and electricity yes. supply as well. Yeah, I think that's very important if you, if you look at you know, current mining projects in South Africa and how people struggle to secure water and power. And what that does for us, it actually speeds up the project by three years. If we were to go and uh, get the permits and licenses ourselves, uh, we'd delay the production startup of the project by three years. So that's quite quite significant for us. Mm. Uh, going forward, are you going to be acquiring any more of these tailings dams? Yes, we are looking at acquiring our current resources, you said, are sitting at 480,000 ounces, and we're looking to get that up to about a million ounces in the next uh, year. Mm. It's also interesting, I mean, we keep referring to them as Chrome's tailings dams, in fact. Yeah. Do you think there's going to be new technology coming to the fore that will assist um, mining companies to extract Chrome as well? Because if that can be done, then obviously your margins will increase significantly. Yes, there is still fine Chrome, as they call it, fine Chrome left which currently the, uh, you know the current producers can't extract and, and uh, but people are looking at technology ex to extract that so if that comes into the fray then you know obviously there will be an increase in the margin but for now we haven't we haven't planned on getting those those mm -hmm. margins um, just looking at uh, the fact that you are starting to plan production in 2011 is that definitely going to happen is that your target at time could anything go wrong between now and then no we've done all of the engineering work uh, all of the long lead items have been ordered
recorded and we are confident that we will start production uh, on time in September. First commissioning and then full production by December of next year. Mm. Return on investment, you said the whole thing is going to cost around 180 million rand. Yes. What kind of a return on investment are you expecting? Well, if, you, if you're looking at current basket prices, we've put in our model, at, which is for 4E, $1,275 an ounce. Payback is less than three years. If the basket price runs to 254E, uh, which analysts are forecasting end of next year, then we'll pay the project back in about a year and a half. <laughs> Complex agreements, so that's what you said, uh, was one of the reasons that uh, most mining companies are not getting into the, to, uh, reprocessing these types of chrome uh, tailings. Yes. Uh, do you think th things are going to change significantly in South Africa? Because it just reminds us of the story with the gold tailings dams, that eventually when gold mining became a bit too dangerous, then you would start embarking on looking at reprocessing these, uh, these tailings dams. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that, that that will change. I think the, the interaction and the relationships remain complex. But again, if you can, if you can solve them, you know, that creates the opportunity opportunity but I don't think it's will mm -hmm. it will change why the do you think they're so complex though what makes it so so difficult just the previous ownerships and and different parties that all hold stakes um, and you've also got uh, one more than one company you know one company is treating the chrome the other company wants to extract the PGMs and it's always difficult when you've got two entities trying to extract uh, minerals from the same seam so I think that's what makes it more difficult let's touch on the platinum price we've seen a significant rally there in fact all inflation linked uh, commodities enjoying a lot of gains investment demand coming through to the fore not only from an industrial perspective but also from that investment perspective where do you think uh, platinum prices are going to be headed from here well, if we look at uh, the research that's been done and we look at the markets, we, we think that platinum is gonna, the platinum price is going to go well over $2,500 an ounce uh, by the end of next year. So we're quite confident in the platinum and the price. And the PGM basket price, I mean, obviously it incru includes yes. rhodium, and pl palladium and gold as gold, well. Gold, yes. Now we believe that all of, all of those will, will move up. But even if it doesn't, you know, our costs are so low that uh, we make a significant margin. Mm. How do you maintain your costs so low? Is it because um, you've got access to water and electricity through the IFM? Well, it's, it's not only that. It's just because we have no uh, underground mining operation costs. Mm. Uh, this is just a plant that extracts the platinum group metals as the chrome gets extracted um, and mined from underground. So that really is the advantage. We have no underground mining costs. Fantastic.